Right. Okay, first fan of the night. First fan of the night. And also last fan of the night. And last fan of the night too. It's this is actually mine that I found at Restore. This is actually Waukesha Restore find. This is another one that that Restore doesn't always turn this kind of stuff up no. at. So this is well, when you're done. I'll tell my story. You, you you tell yours first. Well, I was on my way out here, and uh, this turned up, and it was like near closing time, and I saw it, and I snagged it. Yep. So this is an Emerson designer. This is the very last version. Decades on, that's why it's doing that. Oh. This is the very last version uh, with KB55, which was patented in 83. Mm -hmm. So either this motor predates the patent, and it's from late 82, or more than likely it's from 83, which is also the first year of the 1895 series. So there may have been some overlap. Yeah. Um, but this is the last version. It's got the KB55. It's got wood blades. This is my very favorite version of the designer. I love the designer. I was just telling Pete earlier, designer would be just like a terror to me if I hadn't found a designer so early in collecting. Like, when I was a kid, all my favorite fans were equal. Mm -hmm. Gold lines, blenders, designers, Caribbean breezes, um, mosses, zephyrs. Anything I thought was cool as a kid was all equal in coolness, and the ones that became more sought after were the ones that were harder to find. And one of the first fans I found was a designer. But <coughs> they've never become any less cool to me. They just were easier to find at one point. And um, first designer I ever saw was in Dorn Hardware. It's still there. Uh, and that was my second favorite version, which is just like this, but the regular motor, regular flywheel, and plastic blades. This version, there was two in the Monona Public Library, those got removed, sadly. Later, they replaced them with haikus, which is better than nothing. Um, Monona Community Center still has two last I was there, and I did a video of those. And then the other, one of the other Dorn lo hardware locations had one of these exact versions, and I actually got that fan, pulled it out of there, and replaced it with, some, with a newer fan. I was going to ask, which were the ones, the Community Center ones? Is that the ones that were really wobbly? Yes. Or, I think it was kind of a rounded place or something. Yes. I think I've seen that one. Yep, that's this exact version. And I saw, just like I was telling you earlier, these, for some reason or another, they're hard to balance completely. And I think what it is is because the thin blades warp more easily, just like the plastic blades droop a little. Because um, uh, those ones in the community center wobble terribly, um, and the ones in the library wobbled. I don't remember if the one in the door... No, I know the one in the door wobbled because I took that one out, and when I first moved into my condo, that was my first bedroom fan in the condo. You can probably still see it in the video. That's how much I liked it. I put it in my bedroom. And um, mm -hmm. and uh, it definitely wobbled. But it was a good air mover. Um, so, uh, KB55, this should be a standard Emerson performance. It'll have a, a slightly low high, but still have a good air mover. should have a beautiful low and uh, probably won't be the best in the solid state. So, let's, let's see if it lives up to the hype. Okay. Here's Here is low. low. Jinx. 0.18. Yep. Ah, nine watts, so it's got a low power factor. Yep, yep. it's going to be a capacitor-based speed, I bet. Okay. Well, let's see what I... Try to tag it? Yeah. We need to put a reflective white surface on the ceiling here, or even a rick tile, and we'd have a much easier time with it. Uh -huh. It's getting pretty good at the tack. Okay, once... Okay, 180 oh. divided by four. So... That's going to be 90.45. That seems about right. Yep. Kind of went all over the place, though. So. Yeah. Well, I'm glad, you, you, you're really getting good at it. You're probably better at it than me now. Okay, this is medium. 0.39, Dropped a little. 45 watts, so we're going to be a higher power factor now. Oh, yeah, power factor of one. Already. So I'm, I'm guessing this is just like any other Emerson motor. Where it's got a capacitor low and a coil medium and high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I did to my blender. Yep. I did exactly that to make a third speed. Yep. Okay. So then here comes high. Let me just put it on high. You don't want to tack medium? Oh. Uh, Up to you. You can always take it back to medium and do it or just leave it here? Leave it here for okay. now. 0. 0.62 on high. 71 watts, so it's going to have a power factor of 1. It's like 565. That's <clears throat> what I'm getting. 
Yeah, 565 so, divided by 4. So that's, um, let's see, 600 divided by 4 would be... Oh, you got a calculator there? Yeah. Okay, just do it because I'm tired. Six. Oh. low, but yeah. these are, these are yeah. tend to be, these do tend to be a little slow. This is high and not medium? Yeah, this is high. Yeah, like I said, these are, these are not... 563. Yeah, that's right then. What, what is that? That's one... One four, that's like one... It's like 140. Wow, okay. Doesn't look like 140. Yeah. I mean, I maybe the capacitor is drifted too. It's always something we can check, but... I mean, if I if, if it had, it doesn't look super slow for one of these. these no. Are not, these are not like <clears throat> super fast. These are not fans that go on speed. These are fans that, yeah, no, I, th I think that's right. It's just, yeah. <clears throat> I think it's just a little sluggish. Like I said, we can always try, if, if we're going to hang it somewhere, we can always try a capacitor swap, but I think there's a good chance that this is just what it does. These are, um, yeah. The, the 1895s ended up being a little better performers with the same motor because uh they had shorter blades on the same motor okay the arms were longer okay but, that might um, explain something yeah but uh the early 1895s actually that had the long blades and the long arms are really sluggish on high and in fact we could look at that recent video i did to see um see how uh -huh. that does okay. okay here's spin down do you want to do reverse uh sure well sure we'll do reverse yeah I'm trying to think if the capacitor for Well, these, it's the current draw on high. 0. 0.62. 0. 0.62. Yeah. That's a little low, too. So maybe... I don't know if you have any plans to hang this. This is one that I'd love to see in the enclosure, but there's so many that I'd love to see in the right, enclosure. Right, exactly. Um, that, uh, that I don't know that, that there's any you know immediate chance of that. But I would say before you hang it, let's check the capacitor. I mean... Um, and the only way I'd hang this, if I put... A different 36 inch where that designer is. Oh, no, I would never do that because that's the perfect hardware store. 36. I know it is, exactly. But, like that, 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 the, the Doran True Value that I pulled one of these identical out of also had one of those identical 36s. Okay. And those were the, those were the two fans in back. And then you went further back and it had two Emerson Le Fans. Uh huh. The little three blade things that I love. And then in the front, over the checkout counter, it had a not West blender blade. fan. No, the Le fan, L E F A N, little three blade with the spinner motor, kind of like a Weatherite Dayton cast motor. Oh, like that little thing, yes. that Sears type yes. thing. I know those were sold by Sears. They were sold by Sears, but when Emerson sold them separate from Sears, they called them the Le fan. Okay, like interesting. For fan. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, another one of my all-time favorites, actually. Versus Very right high. here. Maybe even higher than one of these, although, again, we're comparing, you know, comparing $100 and $1. Okay. $1. Yeah, these are known for having great lows. Oh, yeah. The fact that the low is normal is why I, I didn't, didn't, is another reason I didn't assume anything was wrong. Yeah. But again, I, I think the capacitor might be in the switch housing with these, so, you know, it'd be an easy thing to check before we hung it anywhere. Sure. And, uh... Actually, you know what I'm thinking. <sighs> I've been thinking about other pairs of fans to try in my bedroom. Uh-huh. A pair of these wouldn't be that bad. Remember, I had a single one of these in my bedroom in the old condo. Okay. In new, new, in the uh, current place. You know, because I did the pair of iFans and I did the yeah. pair of uh, Lascos. And uh, now you can tack medium this time. Yeah, suppose. Um... It's like 420. Okay, so it's a little like 105. Yeah. Yep. And high. Exactly the same. Yep. Coil tap for, you know, or two, two separate coils for medium and high and, and a capacitor for creating low. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put it back. Where do you think it's going to start? Oh, I'm... 
I think it'll start on two. Okay, I'll say three. All right. All right, decade box. One. Two. Oh. I hope it wins. One thing I'll say about this one, this yeah. has meticulous bearings. This this whole thing is in super clean shape. Yeah. The blades are a little sun faded, but otherwise, this is like straight out of the box. I don't think I've ever seen one so clean. Okay. I just couldn't believe I found this thing there. Oh yeah. That's a, I would have been I would have been just as happy as you if not happier if I found it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I figured. Here's three. Yeah. Four. Eighteen ninety five are cool. Yep. And yeah. uh the like K fifty five ones with the oval vents are cool. Um but of the K fifty and of the K fifty five plastic Emersons and I guess I don't know why I included eighteen ninety fives in that, but like yeah. These are pro I probably even like I like these more than ornate Casablanca classics. I'd say if I mm. had to rank K fifty five Emersons besides blenders, I'd say plain Casablanca classics. These, yeah. then ornate Casablanca classics, um, then maybe ornate 1895s, then maybe the round vent things, then plain 1895s. And I like 1895s. I mean, I like all the things. I like Emerson. I don't think okay, Emerson made Okay, here's five. Like so five would definitely be a perfect low. Five may be what the low is. Well, no, because it's on the low coil, so it might be different. But that is that is the right low for this. Absolutely. Well, this is on the high speed coil. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Huh. Lamp's been on the whole time. Oh? Yep. Turn it to high again. Let's see if that, that, let's see if that makes a big difference. Okay. Yeah, actually. Oh. Yep. No wonder. Because I was thinking, like, I don't remember it being... I'm going to tack it again. Yes, you should. And this time I'm getting 622, or actually 630. Okay, so that is, that is about 157, 160, so we're a little yeah. closer. Yeah, this, this definitely, I, I, I no longer think there's a chance the capacitor is bad. That seems perfectly normal. Yeah. But I suspect the lower speeds would be about the same. Yep. All right, let's see, just to quickly go. One. <coughs> Two. He still wins. Yeah. Three. Four. So between four and five, let's see which is a better low. Vote in the comments if you think it's okay for us to have this hanging in the enclosure and the small designer. Mm. And if we get, if we get, uh, how many votes, then, then Pete will be convinced. How many votes, Pete? Ooh. I don't know. Here. Pete said infinity votes. Pete said infinity plus one. <laughs> okay, well, here is five. Remember when we were kids? When you were kids, did you just always, like, when you learned a new number, was, uh, Google infinity. Google Plex mm -hmm. infinity. You just kept, like, trying to figure out how to way to make it bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can always tell when I haven't had any sleep. This is five. This is a perfect oh. low. I forgot to start out the video. Welcome to patreon.com backslash d yes. for behind the scenes contract. Brought to you by our sponsors. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the sponsors at the end of the video. Yep. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, this, this would make for a medium low on a four speed. Not bad. Yeah. When you just want it to start moving air. Yep. Nine. Ten. Ten, I look at this as like hardware store speed. Yeah. Con usually hardware stores had them on medium. I noticed. Sometimes low, but usually medium, never high. Yeah. I noticed that. Here's eleven. To draw an at 11. Oh, point three seven. seven. We're quite a ways. Here's 12. And 13. Okay, so an, a 5, 8, and 13 would work. 
on this one. 14, 15, 16, or am I getting, oh. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Still a ways away. Oh, wow. Yep. 21. Just going to go up 23. I'll let you know when you're close. 27. 30. Sorry to think you won't go over. You said 40. I don't think we're going to go over. Okay. Let's. Still way under. Oh, wow. Yep. Maxed it out. No resident. 10. And 20. Yep. Okay. Right. Well, so your metal this. How do you think this is going to do on the solid state? I'm gonna, gonna say what I know most 1895s are, noisy. I'm gonna say living room quiet. And if some, if, if it is quieter than either of those, it will be a miracle. It would. Because the ones on the, at the community center are on solid states and they're noisy as shit. Ooh. Just as I call it. Is that high end of living room or is that straight out noisy? I think that's pretty bad. It's noisy. If that's... Do me a favor. Is that, is that the noisiest setting right there? Yep. Put on the noisiest <laughs> setting and turn the light on. It's an LED, never mind. Sometimes an incandescent bulb will like absorb some of the noise. Oh no. But yeah, no. I will say I've heard worse. That's why I said maybe this one's high end of living room. But uh, I've definitely heard worse, but I've also heard better. So, yes. Okay, well, all we have left is zero to high. We know how this is going to do on the rec test. Yes. Uh, we can still do a rec test. Oh, um, yeah. But we know it's going to do well on the rec test. Because, okay. Uh, I know Rick loves these as much as I do. And I think you like them too, just as much. Oh, yeah. I think, all, I think this all through, because it's, it's from the Blender family, so how can we not like it? Right. Yes. Okay, zero to well, high. How much rest do you think it's going to do? I think a small in rush. Okay. I'll say big, I guess. Small guy today, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's gonna drop to six eight. Yep. Small got it. Okay. So let's do a rec test. Turn the light on. Yes. Well oh yeah. I'm gonna set it to low. Yep. And a better idea. Oh yeah. Easier to do that now for yes. because of something that'll be revealed. Yes. Well, Rick's not here. We could ask the sheep. <laughs> yeah, Rick or sheep. Rick or sheep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that's gonna be. What's the top of the Rick scale avocado appliance? Yes. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> only reason this isn't top of the Dan scale is because I actually prefer these without light. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. I I don't like plastic Emersons with lights. I think I just think putting putting a a a something that has to be supported on plastic is just not my jam. Plastic Emersons should not have lights. Metal Emersons are fine with lights. That's just a personal thing of mine. Um, but this, the fan itself is top of the dance scale, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, like I said, if, if I hadn't found these earlier in life, <clears throat> designers would up there, be up there with Terra's and Island fans because it was one of the, like, consequential fans of my early childhood. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the designer of Doran Hardware was the first, um, first fan I ever saw. So, okay, well, that's it. That um, is it. All we have to do now is thank our sponsors. Pete, tell them about our sponsors. Sponsors are Fanstick. Fanstick, and how can they support Fanstick? Buy Fanstick. When, was it, when, and how, where do you go to buy Fanstick? Um, Fanstick.com, Fanstick.biz. I think it's buy Fanstick. Buy Fanstick. And buy. Fanstick.biz, lightstick.com or .biz. I don't remember. I, I know, there is a Lightstick. <laughs> yeah. What other sponsors do we have? A taco Burrito Taco Mex Burrito Mexico. Which I haven't been there yet. We, I, I'll take you there. We'll find an excuse to go up to Green Bay. For those who don't know, it's just a restaurant with a funny name that, that, that has amused many fan collectors. Um, it's Taco Burrito Mexico. It's where you go when you want your tacos, your burritos, 
or your Mexico's. What are our other sponsors, Pete? Oh, yes. Oh, oh the good manufacturing. Good manufacturing company for when excellence is too much. Yeah. What are some products made by the good manufacturing company? Light bulbs. Company? Oh, oh, okay. You're talking about the real good manufacturing company. Yes. No, the fake good manufacturing company makes a board game called... Oh, Rick Kershaw. Oh, yes. I yes. Forgot. And, uh, and they also make... Uh, they also have a subsidiary called 81220 <laughs> LLC, where our uh, slogan is crunch, 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 crunch. And uh, go to patreon.com backslash dspiffy to, for a slightly more serious sponsorship. Um, and lastly, what can they do to continue supporting our content? Bye, Bye fan stick. Thanks for watching. Yes, thanks you for watching.